How'd you meet um, Joe and and Erica? You know what? I actually will defer to Joe on that one because I feel like he tells the story the best. Actually, we, we keep saying it was five years ago. It's actually six years ago. That's terrifying. Oh, wow. That's yeah, yeah. It was a screenwriting class uh, uh, with Phil M Creative, which is you know one of the Phil M groups here. Right. And yeah, we just kind of hit it off and. And uh, Mark called me up after the class ended. It was over the summer of 2018. And he called me and said, well, hey, you know, would you like to get together and uh, toss some ideas around? Um, What do you do really as a professional? I am a very stereotypical RN. (laughs) (laughs) Registered nurse. I'm a registered nurse. Uh, I'm also a Desert, desert Storm veteran. So Thank two, you for your service. Yeah. <laughs> two stereotypes right there. Um, but yeah, so I told Mark that I don't work in the industry, you know. And I said, that's perfect. Why was it perfect, Mark? Because I wasn't looking for somebody who was in the industry. I, what I, my, the goal for me at that time was to get to know the community. I did not know the Filipino-American community. Um, I, I knew they existed, uh-huh. but they were like a fairy tale to me. It was like <laughs> something I read about in a magazine. I didn't know they were around. I didn't know who was in it. I knew nobody. And 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 Joe, like you guys are, are not of the same age, I would assume. What made you take him? <laughs> not even close. Not even close. <laughs> <laughs> what made you take Mark seriously? And then, okay, let I me, let me. I didn't even know he had won an Emmy. See? Even the whole, the whole time we were taking class together it was like what eight weeks or six weeks or something like that what kind of class was this what class were you taking up? it was a screenwriting class so no because you know so i you don't have to know that he won an emmy to know that he's talented that he has a gift did you, did you see his passion yes yes i actually want to add to that um a little something to that i'd like to share for a lot of people when working with people from different age groups that's actually one of the thing I'm one of the things I'm so proud of as far as our team, not just the three of us, but even our larger collective that I'll right. talk about later, is we are a team of multicultural, multi-generational groups of Phil Ams, Filipinos and all that. But what we have is a common respect for each other. Joe could have easily, you know, played the I'm older, I'm right, yeah. listen to me. And he never did that. And to me that was so refreshing. And I really appreciated that. And even till today, I feel like we maintain we maintain the idea that we all have something unique to contribute and that none of us could be could do this all by ourselves. You know, that's a big thing what you just said, uh, because that's very typical of Filipinos where I'm older. Listen to me, listen to me, right? right. Yeah. I, I mean, if, if Joe did not play that card, that's, that's I mean, that's, a, that's really a good thing. It means he, he looked up to you. Yeah. And, and I think I appreciated the just mutual respect, respect for everyone. Yeah. And if anybody ever tried to say, oh, this team member isn't, pulling their weight in the same way i will correct them in a heartbeat because i will argue that everyone brings value in small ways and in big ways and everybody has an ability to contribute to what makes us great right now that there's you there's joe what was the first project that you guys did was erica part of it already? yeah 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 yeah. oh yeah erica was actually you know what erica is the inciting incident for why why we ended up getting together actually erica talk about it yes (laughs) well we we met in the class that we took together. Wait, the same thing? The film? At film the, creative class. It was creative? a master's screenwriting class. That's what they called it. Okay. Why are you laughing? Um, if it wasn't at a college. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't at a college. You know? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> it was a nonprofit. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah. <clears throat> sorry, I don't know what happened to my voice. No, it's I think, fine. Sorry, we just all came from WonderCon, so I we're know. still all just... We've been talking to people all day Maybe over the last all weekend. Days. Yes. <laughs> yes. All weekend long. Okay. But I had just had my daughter, so I took the class because I was um, writing and producing some short films, and they were getting into festivals, and I thought, well, I want to start like, winning now. <laughs> 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 I want it to be better, you know? And at the time we finished the class, I don't know why I... I've always been a big fan of um, Buffy and Charmed. Yes. <laughs> and I just wanted to do a Halloween short film. <laughs> I had this idea, you know, just something fun, you know. And I was at this film creative event and talking to a bunch of people about my idea. 
And um, Mark was giving a presentation on visual effects and what he does with his job. And I had no idea what it was. Wow. Um, I thought half of the stuff that he showed me was um, makeup or, you know, I didn't even really (laughs) know the full extent of what visual effects was at all. And I was blown away by his presentation. It was, I mean, the stuff he does is cool. And somebody was like, well, who, who's going to direct this project? And I was like, I think he should. Did you not see his presentation? Like, like he should. Like, well, yeah, because okay. it, I, um, I, I, I wanted it to be like, um, there was magic involved, you know, which is, <laughs> it was kind of like um, a Filipino. Charmed. Charmed. <laughs> Wait, so the first project Asian, was sorry, her was story gonna, story line. It was so, going to be like an Asian Charmed. Oh. Um, and then I was like, have you guys seen the billboards? <laughs> <laughs> well, I talked to Mark and I was like, hey, you know, I have this project and I'm looking for a director. He's like, email me. <laughs> and um, God, I did not just like that. the day before we um, like um, called him to sort of pitch the project. I remember I was driving home and I saw this big billboard for the new Charmed. And I was just like, oh, wow, you know, they stole my idea. <laughs> and uh, and that was the first thing he said on the phone, too. He was like, well, how is this different from the new Charmed? And we were like, well, you know, we're Asian. <laughs> um, so Mark challenged us and he said, well, you know, um, nothing in your story, you know, is unique to your Ooh, culture. And I challenged... You said that? Yeah, he's like, I challenge so all... Mean. I challenge you girls to, you know... Um, Find things, you know, that can, you know, bring your culture into the story, you know. He just challenged us. How did you feel when he said that? I thought it was, I mean, I, I accepted the challenge. You know, I started <laughs> I started researching, you know, um, basically the supernatural world from the Philippines. I mean, because that's, that's what I was trying to go for, <laughs> you know. Um, I, um, I've worked a little internationally and... I didn't know about the mythology at all from the Philippines, actually. My I um, my Filipino grandmother took me to church every Sunday, <laughs> and I wasn't allowed to like even celebrate Halloween. Really, it was it's like the two percent of the Christianity, you know, from the Philippines. To kind of just add to so. why Erica, <laughs> um, I mean, <laughs> Erica has this um, unmatched tenacity. To just get something done. Yes. Um, yes. I think, you know, when she pitched us the project, I told them, like, you know what? The best fantasy or the best things that are mythical or mystical for me are the ones that are connected to your reality. And so with Erica's case, I was like, well, tell me about you. She's like, well, I'm biracial. My mom's um, my mom's white. My dad's Filipino. So I said. Oh, it's yeah. the other way around. It's okay. the other way around. So then we said why don't we make you biracial mythologically as the and, character uh, yeah as the character and that's really what happened that's what started this entire process for us was okay so let's create a story about a young woman who is half human and half mythologically other and we immediately picked up actually the first thing we thought of was encanto to kind of like make it interesting but what happened was actually when geneva came along i'm like we can't be, we can't have the dad be the Encanto because <laughs> then the mom was supposed to be a waitress. That's true. We changed it. Yeah. It was, she, the mom was originally supposed to be a waitress at a diner. And I was like, she's too, I don't know. She was too regal to be the waitress at the diner. So we, right, we, we right. rewrote it and it became a Duwata instead. Um, and so that kind of like became the inciting incidents of really our comics name and everything. So in theory, Geneva was an intersectional point. Like the the moment she signed on, we changed everything as well. Um, and since then, that's that became our identity. That became the the inciting moment for the creation of the other characters and for the character herself. And yeah, we just kind of like developed it from there. What intrigues me is you being too blunt toward Erica. I'm blunt. Period. <laughs> like, right. Yeah, um, but but what was the what was the context of your relationship when you said 
nothing. There's nothing special. Well, no, we didn't. We didn't know each other. I mean, the heck? no, we didn't know each other. Like we were in the same class, yeah. but even though you're in the well, same he was class, in the front of, he sat in front and I sat in the back. This, this <laughs> felt like college, it feels like a college experience. <laughs> but you know what's cool about it was, um, again, let me let me kind of like step back. When I first saw Erica, so I, obviously people aren't blind. You can see what Erica looks like. So when I saw Erica, I was like, oh my God, she's probably going to be high maintenance. I'm not even going to try to make <laughs> But, you know, now we're like, I call her every other moment. Um, yeah, no, we just really became a group of unlikely friends with similar passions for telling stories. And we just started yes. kind of collecting people like Pokemon. <laughs>